Six years ago, we spent a lot of time at McMaster's Children's Hospital and Trump's Sick Kids Hospital. And I vividly remember the day uh, my daughter, uh, she was four years old, and we were sitting in Toronto's Sick Kids waiting and a family walked by. There was a mom, a dad, and a child, and they were wearing their blue Make-A-Wish shirts. And my daughter, who was four years old, she asked me, Dad, what does it say? I said, it says make a wish. And then she asked me, well, what does that mean? So I explained to her and her eyes lit up and she responded, that's so cool. Uh, it was from that day I knew I had to get involved. I wasn't sure what to expect, but what I found was that with every small gesture, every bit of my time had the power to make a difference in someone's life. I remember Tristan's wish had one sentence under that kind of caught my eye, and it says, Tristan loves airplanes. As a pilot, as soon as I read that, I couldn't help but sign up for his wish. Phil immediately took a liking to Tristan. Um, he said he connected with his wish. My son is absolutely obsessed with airplanes and um, always has so you know it was an immediate connection between both Tristan and and Phil and Phil just dove right in. One of the challenges with Tristan was their existing wheelchair had limitations. So when Rob and Heidi told me the story about Tristan playing in the barn with his sisters, I kind of went for the heart on this one. So when I submitted this wish for this all-terrain track chair, I submitted it as Tristan wishes to play with his sisters. Because while the chair was the thing, uh, it was about so much more than that. I have to find the heart of that wish and how excited Tristan gets when he plays with his sisters. That's the heart. Phil, he was always there to reassure us, made sure we never felt bad about anything. Because I think naturally you feel a little bit like, you know, do we deserve this? And obviously Tristan deserves this, but as parents you feel sometimes a little bit maybe guilty, but he never made us feel that way. I remember that night when I got the call from my wish coordinator that it's finally been approved. And I uh, quickly called Robin Heidi. And there was a lot of tears on that phone call when it happened. His track chair has given him the ability to do what we all just take for granted. He just giggles, like, as he drives. It's, <laughs> it's the best thing ever because he, he's got this newfound independence that, you know, something he hasn't had before. Seeing his eyes light up, just pure joy, really. I mean, he's in charge of where he wants to go now. It's been very emotional for all of us. Without this, I don't think we, we could explore the way we want to explore or, or have the life that I think Tristan is worth enjoying. Knowing that I was able to uh, be a part of their journey is a gift I will never take for granted. Tristan just wanted to be able to play with his sisters and I think that's what he was given. The amount of families that I've met on this journey is, is amazing. And every family is different and every wish is different. What we're doing with Make-A-Wish is simply filling a prescription for happiness and there are no side effects. Phil went above and beyond. It's hard to put it into words. Um, honestly, it makes me emotional to think about Thank you, Captain Phil, and make a wish from the bottom of our hearts. Our lives will never be the same. <laughs>